Hello, welcome back to another episode of Review of Hollyoaks for 1st of December 2022. I'm going to start with the McQueen's first today in this episode review. Um, Goldie doesn't seem to want to let things go with Mercedes. Uh, well, let's give a previous episode kind of linked because she turns, turns out Goldie's the biscuit thief at Nana McQueen's house. So what she'd basically do is go around to Nana McQueen's house or the McQueen household, steal the biscuits, because I think it's not about the stealing. Uh, I think she kind of misses that place. So she she wants to kind of like, I don't know, like go there and spend some time there, eat their food, cause a bit of a um, commotion. So it feels like she's part of the family again. Do you know what I mean? But in secretly where she doesn't need to admit um, she misses them. Uh, it's quite Gold is a you know interesting character, and Nana McQueen, John Paul, obviously they all found out she's the biscuit thief because she set up a camera, I think with the help of Sally as well. That was a previous episode, and unfortunately the story goes back where, where Goldie kind of blames Bobby, um, for the death of Silver because Bobby. Didn't really, when Silver was dying, when his final moments, Bobby didn't go and ask for help, tell, tell everyone that Silver's still stuck there. He just chose to remain quiet. I mean, that is pretty weird. And Goldie has got, in my opinion, even as a viewer, um, he she has got a lot of reason to kind of cast Bobby out of the, the McQueen family, keep him in Alicante, Spain. And there's just a lot of friction between her and Mercedes right now. It is very difficult for the McQueens. Um, obviously, Mercedes isn't going to shop her own son or give up Bobby. Um, that's only, I don't think not many people would do that out there to their own kids. Um, and obviously, to Mercedes, sorry, to Mercedes, Bobby is going to be innocent. Um, Gold is quite clever. She's... Um, she works things out. She knows there's something off with Bobby. Um, we know it as viewers as well. He has got a little bit of form for his age. And the fact that Silas is his granddad just makes it thing makes things worse. And fortunately, or I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, but Mercedes, regardless, is going to protect Bobby, to be honest. Um, and you can see here Mercedes was... You know, boxing, training to box with with um with Felix, I think her new boyfriend, and um, Nana McQueen, John Paul, they busted inside the garage to get um Goldie and Mercedes to make amends. They locked the garage, and they were fighting Goldie and, and Mercedes. Goldie said, "Look, Bobby's got to stay in Alicante, and I'm I'm kind of like willing to." to um to look over things as long as bobby's not around um condition is a bit um serious but i kind of get goldie's uh concerns to be honest i mean the fact that she's doing this much um knowing that bobby's done that to her brother um it's quite forgiving of goldie um nana mcqueen outside john paul outside obviously felix went somewhere to help pearl i think she was locked in he came back and it was funny because Nana McQueen, oh, he heard loads of shouting at first coming from the garage, um, Mercedes and Goldie fighting. And he said, what's going on there? Nana McQueen and John Paul said that they're fighting. He, he said, no, he's good. Don't want to really go in there. And Nana McQueen offered him a biscuit. I don't know. I thought that scene was hilarious. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think Nana McQueen definitely is the, um, um, what do you call it? The kind of glue that holds the McQueens together, even through their bad times. Before it remember, it was Mercedes' mum, but she's obviously long gone. I do kind of uh, miss her because um, she was she was a really funny character and a great character, very loyal to her own family. And I do think that if Goldie goes back to the McQueen household, things can look a bit better. But unfortunately, it's just Bobby. He's the single unit. That's causing the friction between um, the family. Um, Goldie, we did see in the end, Goldie, she was on her laptop looking at um, Silver's last words on the video. I think it was a FaceTime call. Um, she called someone. Obviously, Goldie's not going to let it go. And why should she, to be honest? Even as a viewer, I do think Goldie should 
get to the bottom of this because there's something off with Bobby. I know he's just a child, but there's just something terribly off with him um, because it's not his first stunt. He's done other things as well. Um, creepy stuff as well. Um, impersonated someone. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on because that's... Uh, we could get talk talk about it non-stop with the McQueens. Um, now, Perry, as you can see here, she's talking to Nadia. Nadia's just just said very simply, just stay away from our relationship. You know, stay away from Julia. Perry seems to take an, a, a such a high offense, even though the one, even though she's the one that slept with Julia and they cheated on Nadia. So I I don't know I found it very very um what do you like? not very good like very moral as well in terms of um Perry's side because the way she's talking to Nadia like looking down at her and saying stuff like oh everything was fine until you showed up fair enough but if you feel that for Juliet and Juliet feels for you I do think they should have uh, well Juliet should have ended up with Nadia first before you guys um done stuff together and yeah because it's not fair on her and especially the way you're talking to her now i do think nadia doesn't really back herself because she's she didn't really react that much when juliet slept with perry and she just she just i don't know i don't think it was enough um yeah i just don't think it was enough from nadia not enough um jealousy or fight coming back from her and juliet got away with it quite easily um, even Perry got away with it quite easily, especially the way she spoke to him. I, I don't know, just, yeah, it's, it's a weird one. Um, so, I do think Hollyx could have made it more realistic in terms of that storyline to make Nadia, you know, have a bit more confidence in herself, have a bit more, um, fight in her, because it's not on, it's not on any, it's not, it's not right on anyone, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter, it's not right that you cheat on someone. Um, let me know what you think, guys, on this, because I, am I the only one that found that weird? I, I don't know, it's just, um, for me it wasn't on, as you can see, the last scene is very sad, Juliet officially being, uh, diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, they need to find out how far it's spread in the next, um, sets of tests, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to see that, um, she's got her support now, James is there, um, obviously, it's not nice to see what she's going through. Um, but at first, she didn't have any support. She was by herself. She didn't really talk to anyone. It was kind of lucky that... I'm glad that Steve found that leaflet that she dropped. And then obviously informed James. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I was like kind of relieved for Juliet because she needs that support. You know, even Mizba said she, she needs that support. Um, finally, I want to finish off with... Um, Tony and his son, the whole situation, turns out they did, um, sorry, Diane did do a DNA test, and it turns out that Bo is Tony's son, I was quite chuffed about that, because I think they're a great duo, um, Diane, I don't know, I, re I really don't like her, um, just her behaviour with Tony, and especially towards the, um, the kind of like, resentment towards Bo, even though he didn't really do much, I know Tony missed you know, the school play with his other kids, and but Bo's just come to the scene, um, you know, can't abandon him because he is his son. He wants to know his dad, and Tony wants to know his son. I don't understand why Diane just doesn't let them be. And she brought up Edward, which was Tony's dad, but I'm sorry, Diane. She's the one that's, you know, Diane's the one that slept with Edward before, literally almost married the guy. I don't know, I think they married. they got married. This was all when Tony was um, locked up by, I think, Silva's mum. The yeah. Um, then I, I do think Diane needs to um, kind of like just just chill out a bit because it's it's affecting a lot of people, um, especially the stuff that you've done with Tony's dad, um, and Tony being backing you and stepping stepping with you all the way from the beginning um i know they have the ups and downs tony's not obviously perfect but neither is diane um it's just normal that fa father wants to know his son um so it's it's just one of those things that i don't agree um with diane she, although she's a 
very nice character other than that um i do really like her and tony together but let's see i, I kind of felt sorry for Bo when he um when he just said i'll make it easier for you and walked off it's kind of heartbreaking for the father and son i do hope diane sees more um more empathy for the for the pair and realizes it's, it's, it's bigger than her and i know tony's not perfect he he needs he will give time to his other kids um it's a tough one it's not easy for tony anyway guys let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one peace